So one of the things I want to share with you, I'm going to skip across some stuff and I'm going to turn it over to Kurt, is this is something that we're actively building in, in Epix today. What you guys are looking at is a simple diagram um, that we have been pushing on and we're, we're very close. I want to share this with you. When we get done with this, when we get done with this call, right? When Nate, when you get done with one of your things or Kurt with one of your things, we have an MP4 file, right? That can be turned into an MP3 file. That can also be analyzed with AI to get a, a text summary. And one of the things that we're building is a machine where this, 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 this video will be turned into audio. It'll be blended without me being there. My voice introducing the podcast, exiting the podcast, this thing being cut correctly, branding audio being put on both sides, out the door to syndication. It's out to the channel. And quite frankly, it takes one step to start translating it to Serbian and Hindu, um, you know, uh, Serbian and whatever other language we want. I'm sorry, you know, Spanish or whatever. Um, this is possible. And we are, we've got this thing down to, to needing about 13 minutes per podcast of a, of a human time. Kurt um, was actually showing us in the early days how to take this to get this, right? Three-minute video that gets out to YouTube. This gets prepared for social and the text piece. So this is a this would never be possible if it wasn't for AI and a string of tools and automation put together. And so these are some of the things that, you know, those of us that are trying to work on, how do you take multimedia and floor it? Now, those things, of course, are based on us already having this video. There's a whole nother set of things that happen when you need to actually like go create the videos. So I just want to show you back to a couple of examples. You know, this is just an example. I was, this is not what I was doing, but I, you know, I was basically, you know, using, uh, you know, chat GPT to generate ideas, right? Hey, I, I need to come up with some ideas for travel hacking that would be interested to, you know, executives like you guys and burp, out it comes. Right. And so then I had these things and I'm like, yeah, I mean, these, these all sound pretty good, but in order to build a library, you know, I need to scale this pretty quickly. And so without having to license anybody else's stuff, here I go over to, um, let me just pull this up really quick. This is, uh, uh, this is, um, let me just click on this really quick that here, here, I just dropped these things in here. And then of course, what I was sharing with you guys is that you can start to put AI in these spreadsheets. And so here's the list. If I put the right formula here and I say, Hey, look at that title. And now give me a, a couple of tactics, right? Then I can drag and drop this. And all of a sudden I have a summary of all these things, right? If I go over, I, I get, I, I guess this is going to take a second to load. If, if I'm even, I might even be connected, but the point is, I was basically summarizing as much as I wanted to. I could have a video script coming off of this, a social prompt that would be for LinkedIn, a different one. All these things are built by dragging and dropping these these uh, these formulas. 